check out the newest addition at Fairgrounds Park. But this isn't your ordinary playground equipment. It's actually outdoor fitness equipment, and it's another way for you to lead a healthier lifestyle. Local personal trainer Chad Smith takes us through the ropes. The two-person rotator is a dual machine that helps you train your abdominals through a standing and a seated position. Now, as Aaron is demonstrating, you're gonna rotate through the waist into the hips with your arms straight. And if you're doing this correctly, you're gonna feel a strong contraction in your obliques, which are your side abdominals. The Air Strider is a piece of equipment that will enhance your cardiovascular endurance while eliminating any kind of knee and foot pressure while allowing you to actively engage your core and hip muscles. The recumbent cycle is an excellent cardiovascular tool that once again will have no impact or pressure on the joints and will allow you to maintain a comfortable position for the duration of your workout. The seated chest press is an excellent strength training tool to train the upper body pushing muscles. This machine has two handle options for different shoulder positions. There are no weights involved with this equipment. You're actually using your own body weight to build your strength. The seated lat pull down is a strength training tool that will train the pulling muscles of the upper body. This machine also has two options for hand positions for different training variations. The seated row is another option for training the muscles of the upper back. Make sure you use full range of motion in the horizontal position to get a maximum exercise experience. The sit-up board is a tool most appropriate for advanced exercises. Always utilize caution if you have any spinal concerns when using this equipment. The reverse crunch is an alternate exercise for this equipment. If you have any kind of spinal concerns, once again, consider using caution when using this exercise. The leg press will train the muscles in the upper legs and hips. You can start with the standard two-leg press or progress to the one-leg press as you get stronger. The leg press can also be utilized to train the muscles in the lower legs, also known as the calves. Simply lift and lower your heels to flex and release the muscles in the calves. The elliptical trainer is another low impact option for cardiovascular training. It's easy on the knees and ankles and is a great way to train the muscles in the hips and the core. This outdoor fitness equipment has something for everyone, including a wheelchair accessible station. And don't forget, there's a one mile walking and running trail around the park to enjoy, giving you some more variety for cardio options. Now before you start a new workout program, you want to talk to your doctor about it. And when you're here, you might want to stretch a few minutes before you work out and after to cool down. If you feel faint or dizzy at any point in time, stop what you're doing and take a break. Enjoy your workout here at Fairgrounds Park. <laughs>